so now let me explain you different mode of property like property single value property page and page list let's get an idea also page group we are going to work on page group going forward just to give you a brief idea about single value properties page properties page list and page group okay look at here so when you create a new property in prpc when you create a new property in brbc it is going to ask you what is the type of the property property type it has three different modes let's talk about advanced later now coming to single value property if you choose any of the property type under the mode single value that means that property can hold a value that's it okay so that is what a single value property single value property means it is going to hold a value this is clear we have worked on this now coming to page so page property is something like this so this is page property where you see expand icon so page property refers to a class so where in which in the referenced class you have the properties available okay now going back to your work class of page so now this page property holds multiple properties onto it so page property refers to some class it holds the properties of that referenced class so page type properties what it holds multiple properties onto it now coming to page list so page list is an ordered collection of pages where each page will be indexed with n okay so on n so similarly you look at here page group so it is unordered collection of where each page will have a name instead of index so i'll show you on page list and page group example here just to understand okay suppose i have address suppose you take address address is a page okay on the address page what are the properties that i can have door number street state city pin code this is page now i want to hold addresses of so i want to hold different addresses okay what are different types of addresses that we have home address office address permanent ad permanent address present address office address let's say okay so if i want to define it in a page list how would you define address so under address page list you have address of 1 if this is page list next one address of 2 next one is address of 3 done clear this is page list structure if i want to define address different types of address as page group then this will be like this in place of index you will have a name address of home address of office this is what i can give suppose let's say make it meaningful present okay address of permanent so this is page group and this is page list how to generate page group we'll see later but just to give you an idea difference see page list will have an index for each page whereas page group is an unordered collection where in which each page will have a name instead of index at run time tell me for a developer which one is easier to understand page group is easier to understand if you look at each page you'll come to know what is this all about 
okay this is clear and one more technical point that you have to remember is i will discuss again this later page list each page should refer to same class each page will refer to same class page group is not like that each page can refer to different class that point i will again raise whenever we are working on page group okay just you can leave it for now so this is how the structure of page list and page group will be defined page list is an ordered collection of pages where each page will have an index 1 2 3 4 and so on whereas page group is something which is an ordered collection of pages let's take a cell phone you have a mobile phone in mobile phone you have contacts each contact will have different attributes so name email address phone number the first name last name email address phone number and some other attributes will be there all those are single value properties contact is a page like this you have n number of contacts in your phone okay so now you know something for contacts you can give speed dial you can access it through speed dial you can give suppose contact of ramesh you can access you can give it a speed dial number 1 contact of harsha number 2 contact of someone else gopi number 3 like this you can assign speed dial when you access contact of one simply speed dial one means that means contact of one will go to the call to the person it is been referred to so when you make this you are creating a page list this is like a kind of page list now in the phone you are not going to send speed dials directly you are accessing contact of ramesh you are going to click on ramesh it will send a call to ramesh contact of gopi you directly click on gopi it will send a call to gopi so now this is the way through accessing a page group with the name of the page you are accessing so if you consider enter all the contacts as a collection of different pages so assigning speed dial to each contact you will access through index 1 2 3 4 and so on that is kind of page list so if you are going to access it directly using page name contact name you click open the contacts click on contact name you are accessing it using the name of the contacts page so that is kind of page group so which one is easier to understand in these two easier to understand group is always easy to understand okay looking at number 1 in the speed dial you don't know whom it has been assigned until and unless it displays there okay so this is the real life page list and page group that we can see in our phone okay this is clear any questions any doubts anyone online okay if you are good to go ahead this is about obj browse that we have discussed today and page list and page group just to give you uh, just an idea we did not see page group now we will see that later okay technically where to use okay so okay